what's the difference between data governance and now big data governance? To be honest, there shouldn't be any difference, right? We need exactly the same thing that we needed the last 30 years now for this new emerging technology. But the reality is that Hadoop and Spark and all the kind of cool new stuff isn't where it needs to be around data governance. And that's very critical because we want to move Hadoop in as a centerpiece, as a new data warehouse into organizations, have that enterprise ready and really move our you know, day-to-day -day data operations on those platforms. But that requires data governance, right? Historically in data, um, in normal kind of, in the, the historical data analytics world, you had data lineage, you had, um, you know, security, row-based, column-based um, access. Uh, you can define roles that define what people can do with the data. Um, you know, you see kind of change logs, what, what did people change, all that good stuff, data masking, encryption, blah, blah, blah. Everything is already done here, you know, and it's a very mature market. The products that are solving those kind of challenges, you know, really competing on minor features and mostly on price today. But over here, we don't have that, right? It's really critical to step up and bring those technologies where they need to be so we can move them into production and really run kind of our healthcare data on it, run risk score around maybe, you know, calculating loan risk scores or credit card risk scores. And by definition, those kind of applications, you know, have legal requirements around data lineage against change logs, security, encryption, blah, blah, blah. And it needs to be there. And it's really critical. So it's a very early technology. It needs to mature around data governance. What is critical for its widespread enterprise adoption? We already have it on the traditional data analytics side uh, since many, many years. But there's an opportunity. Given we have it kind of duct taped and since 30 years in that you know, traditional data analytics environment, we have the opportunity to rethink and reimagine how we do data governance um, in the big data uh, landscape and ecosystem. Right, let me give you an example. Data lineage is incredible difficult to implement with traditional data analytics processes. So in the, in the old world, we had what we call schema on write. That basically means as we move data to kind of the processes, we're physically changing the data. So if we look at an example, maybe we calculate a loan risk score yeah, in a bank. You have for Dot Frank and Basel 2 and 3 define what's the lineage? How did you get to this risk score to prove that you didn't discriminate someone and that it's reliable and that you actually really can back up that risk score that you, that you found out that you analyzed? So to calculate that data lineage is it's really, really hard because you physically change the data as you loaded it into the uh, Teradata. You physically change it at Informatica, move that from Teradata to Oracle. You run some maybe um, you know, embedded SQL statements in, in your Oracle there. And then it changes as it goes into MicroStrategy. And then maybe it's changed again as you're visualizing it with Tableau. So it's really, really hard because the data is physically consistently changing. So what you basically have to do is to hire a data deck um, you know, detective and go into all the different systems and actually manually document what happens. Now, good luck if things change. You consistently have to keep up with that. But that is data lineage today in the traditional data analytics world. In big data, we have this unique opportunity. We have this, in contrast to schema on write, what we have here, where we change the data, we have this new concept that we call schema on read where actually we do not physically change the data, where everything is just a view on the data, where everything is virtualized. So what we can do now around data lineages, and we just load the data as is, and to get to the loan risk score, we basically can very transparently look, okay, what's the data pipeline we run on Hadoop to get to that score? And we don't have to like puzzle it together out of those different pieces but everything happens here in one data pipeline because we have all the data sets, we have all the kind of simple data cleaning, the analytics, the aggregation, the predictive stuff, it's all in one platform. So with that schema and read approach, data lineage comes for free. So there's a lot of opportunity, but a lot of work to be done in the big data space to really catch up to what we need uh, in data governance to make that an uh, enterprise ready platform.